What is religion? This is something that I have been um, trying to figure out for almost my entire life. Um, I mean, I won't get into the big history of my search and, you know, for spiritual development and all that. But anyway, the I asked uh, Siri the definition of religion. And this is what I found out. A particular system of faith and worship. I think that's a pretty good description. Um, anyway, uh, Bill Barr was being interviewed here, um, I don't know, almost two days ago now. <clears throat> and I watched the entire hearings that were done in the Senate when he was grilled, um, basically by <laughs> the Democrats. And it was, it was really, really painful to watch, but, um, the attack, you know, that was made on him and all their talking points that they were, you know, putting together. So I just came across this. It's a snippet from an interview and, um, Bill Barr talking about what happened. Fascinating. Here we are, President Trump, he knows what's happening. And today, I just want to point people, yeah, we have Attorney General Barr coming out, interviewing with Mark Levin, and he's saying a lot of things. Let's get the first round of what he's saying out there for people to digest, listen in to what Attorney General Barr is saying about the way he was attacked a couple weeks ago by the Marxist demons. Listen in. I was a chief of staff to an Attorney General, Edwin Meese. We had some very difficult hearings from time to time. I've never seen anything like this before. Obviously it was coordinated. The goal was to have you up there and try and treat you like a pinata. Absolutely disrespectful. What were you thinking what that was going on and what do you make of this? You've been attorney general twice now. I think they were afraid to have me speak and so they decided to burn up all the time and not give me any time to answer. Uh, so I quickly caught on to the tactic. And what do you make of the change of the whole nature of hearings now? I mean, they accused you of being a murderer, a terrorist. Um, I, was, I was getting nervous that somebody might grab a, a Molotov cocktail from right. behind the table and throw it at you. What, what do you make of this? Well, you know, I, I have the perspective of having been attorney general 30 years ago and now, and I thought things were uh, partisan and tough 30 years ago. Nothing compared to today. Things have fundamentally changed. And I think what has happened, and I've been thinking about this, because, uh, you know, in the old days, you could have friends across the aisle. Uh, you know, politics was part of your life, but it wasn't all consuming. It wasn't everything. You could, you know, have communications and so forth with others. But it's now become all consuming for many people. And I think what's happened is that the left wing uh, has really withdrawn and pulled away from the umbrella of classical liberal values that have undergirded our our society since our founding. And, um, you know, when, within the family, uh, we, we've had two ways of resolving disputes. One is discussion, the dialectic, the marketplace of ideas, trying to arrive at the truth. We had an idea that there was some truth to arrive at. And then if we couldn't reach agreement, a vote. And that's how we that's how we operated. Nowadays, you have I think the left has essentially withdrawn uh, from uh, this model, and really represents a Rousseauian revolutionary uh, party that that believes in tearing down the system. That what's wrong about America today all has to do with the institutions we have, and we have to tear them down. And they're interested in complete political victory. They're not interested in compromise. They're not interested in dialectic exchange of views. They're interested in total victory. And that's, it's a, it's a secular religion. It's a substitute for religion. They view their political opponents and they, 
uh, you know, as evil, that because we stand in the way of their progressive utopia that they're trying to reach. And uh, that's what gives, you know, the intensity to the partisan feelings that people feel today, because for them, this pilgrimage we're all on is a political pilgrimage. Everything is reduced to politics. For people who don't have that perspective, politics is important, but it's not the whole purpose of life. Right there, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you approve. Yeah, the whole purpose of life. Uh, this is what I'm working on right now. I have been switching from sewing to drawing. And what I like to do is actually draw my own designs that I then eventually color. some of the things I've been working on. Oh yeah, this one inspired me to get my Prismacolor pencils out. So this is going to turn into a, um, a rainbow that kind of like squiggles across diagonally. Um, I don't know. I'm just trying to take it a day at a time.